proven decoding algorithm. Proven decoding algorithm takes the input of a proof with sequence of length m minus two and output a label tree with vertices with vertices labeled by one, two, three until n. The algorithm initialize as the following. We initialize the set P as the, uh, we initialize the sequence P as the input input proven sequence. We initialize the set V as a set containing all the elements from one to M. And we initialize the tree as N isolated vertices labeled from one to M. And we iterate M minus two times the following actions. We find out the smallest element that exists in set V, but does not occur in sequence P. Then we connect the smallest vertex with the current vertex. I mean current is the vertex cor corresponding to this element PI. Then we remove the smallest element from the vertex set V, and we also remove the element PI from the sequence P. After n minus two iteration, there will be two remaining uh, vertices. Then we just connect the two, and the algorithm output the final label tree with vertices. Let's take an example. We initialize this sequence P as the proof of the sequence three through four five four six. We initialize the set V as the vertex set can containing from one all the way to eight. We initialize the tree as eight isolated vertices. In the first iteration we highlight PI the the vertex corresponding to P PI with a light blue color. Then we calculate the set the V minus P, meaning that O the element that that exists in V but does not exist in P. We just in the following discussion we will call this set as the yellow set. From the yellow set, we find out the smallest one, which is 1. We connect PI, vertex PI, with the smallest vertex. We remove the smallest element from the set V. We remove PI from the sequence P. After removing PI from sequence P, we need to update the yellow set. But since the the element PI, which is three, still exists in P, so we don't have to update the yellow set. For the next iteration, PI is here three again. The smallest one is two. We connect the smallest one with PI. We remove the smallest one, and we remove PI. After removing PI, we need to update the yellow set. Since 3 no longer exists in P, so 3 now becomes an element of the yellow set. For next iteration, PI is 4. The smallest element in the yellow set is 3. We connect the smallest vertex with the vertex PI. We remove the smallest from V and we remove PI from P. After removing PI from P, we need to update the, the yellow set. But since 4 still exists in P, so there is no updation needed here. Next iteration, PI is 5 here. The smallest element 
in the yellow set is 7. We connect the smallest one with PI. We remove the smallest one and we move the we move, remove PI from P. After removing PI from P, we need to update the yellow set. Since now phi no longer exists in P, then we will add phi as a member of the yellow set. Next iteration. The PI here now is 4. The smallest one in the yellow set is 5. We connect the smallest one with PI. We remove the smallest one and we remove PI. After removing PI, we need to update the yellow set. Since 4 now no, no longer exists in P, then we will add 4 as a member of the yellow set. Next iteration. Now PI is 6. And the smallest element in the yellow set is 4. We connect the smallest vertex with P, the PI. We remove the smallest one from V and we remove PI from P. And now after removing PI from P, we need to update the yellow set. But since there are only two element element remaining in V, we we arrive at the last na, last step to connect the vertexes, the remaining two vertexes that exist in the set V and the algorithm ends.